Hey everyone, about an hour ago, John McCain's wife, Cindy McCain, John McCain is the late senator from Arizona, endorsed Joe Biden as president for president of the United States, as it reads here, former U.S. senator and presidential nominee, John McCain's widow, Cindy McCain, announced her support for Joe Biden on Tuesday, saying, we are Republicans, yes, but Americans foremost. Cindy McCain also joined the Democratic National Convention in August, where she shared a video about her husband's unlikely friendship with Biden. Cindy McCain tweets, My husband, John, lived by code, country first. We Republicans, yes, but Americans foremost. There is only one candidate in this race who stands up for our values as a, as a nation, and that is Joe Biden. Joe and I don't always agree on the issues, and I know he and John certainly had some passionate arguments, but he is a good and honest man. He will lead us with dignity. He will be a commander-in-chief that the fightest, finest fighting force in the history of the world can depend on because he knows what it is like to send a child off to fight. I want to say something. I, Joe Biden is a person that I've always regarded with the word honor. He honors his word. He believes passionately in his policies. And most of all, he is compassionate and empathic of the plight of others. He is a true public servant. John McCain is exactly the same. Sure, they have differences about the rule of law, about religion, but they believe in arguing those differences and coming to a conclusion. And then out of that, new policy and a law. That's the way it's done. And this should be a lesson for those people who are in politics, who are younger, who didn't grow up knowing a person like Joe Biden or John McCain, and they're just getting into politics and perhaps you're 18 years old. This is the way it should be done. It's not name calling or making fun of another person or coming up with some sort of cute name about them or saying things about them that aren't true. No. It's understanding the issues from different perspectives, discussing them, and then working to come to a conclusion and an agreement. That's the idea. That's how this country was built. No, it wasn't perfect. But the whole point is that the idea of America has room for change. It always has. And you can't just assume that things aren't going to change because you are part of it. If you believe that things aren't going to change, it's just another way of you saying that you're not going to do anything to cause that change. It's not a good way to be. So, back Joe Biden. The president we have, Donald Trump, is not a true Republican. He is a fake Republican. He is another kind of Republican, but he is being a caricature Republican because he believes and has the evidence to prove from the past that it will get him elected. What then is the objective for him? The real objective can be described with one word, power. It's not about you, it's about him. If that's what you want, then I submit to you, you're not interested in improving this country. You have to love the United States of America to want to make it better. And to want to make it better, you have to listen to people. Many people who don't think like you do, many people who don't look like you do, that's life.